Hey everyone, Robot here. And this video will cover tips to counter the unknown. The unknown is part of the list of killers that have categorized as medium range killers, meaning their power can inflict damage on survivors from afar, but not across the entire map like artists or hunters. We'll cover more medium range killers in future videos. Let's get into it. First, I'll share an overview of the Unknown, and this will help us understand its power and how we can counter it. The Unknown's terror radius is 32 meters, and its movement speed is 4.6 meters per second, which is 15% faster than survivors. The Unknown's special power is called UVX, which stands for Unknown Venom X, and it consists of a projectile that looks like a ball that it launches out of its neck. The projectile can either directly hit survivors or bounce once off a structure or the ground, creating a blast area. We'll talk about the effects of the UVX projectile on survivors in a moment. The unknown can place up to four hallucinations around the map, and it can teleport to these hallucinations. The minimum distance away from a hallucination it needs to be to be able to teleport to it is 3 meters, but there's no restriction on how far it can be from a hallucination to teleport. Now let's talk counters. Number 1. The UVX projectile and its blast area can do a few things to survivors. A. If a survivor comes into direct contact with the projectile, they become hindered and their movement speed is reduced by 6% for 3 seconds. This means survivors move at 3.76 meters per second as opposed to the normal 4 meters per second. B. If the blast area reaches survivors, they become weakened. Weakened survivors have a bubble around their heads. An already weakened survivor that is hit by a blast area will lose one health state. For these reasons, try to avoid getting hit by the projectile. Easy, right? Well, it's easier said than done, but what you can try to do is be unpredictable with your pathing, but don't start dodging until you see the unknown is getting ready to shoot, and you can actually recognize when it's about to do it when you see the following animation. Similar to other killers, keep an eye on the unknown to see when it pulls up its power while you're in a chase. But that's not the only reason you want to keep an eye on the unknown. Let's move on to the next counter to see why. Number 2. Weakened survivors can get rid of their weakened status by staring at the unknown for 10 seconds while they're at least 25 meters from it. The stare does not need to last 10 consecutive seconds, meaning if you break line of sight with the unknown, the weakened removal process only pauses until you can stare at it again. This mechanic is similar to breaking Ghostface out of his night shroud, which you also accomplish by staring at it. For this reason, if you become weakened and are in a chase, try to keep the unknown right on the center of your screen to start removing your weakened status. Don't forget to look in front of you when you get a chance so you don't accidentally run into objects around the map. If survivors become injured by UVX, they will need to stare at the unknown for an additional 6 seconds to remove their weakened status, bringing the required staring time to a total of 16 seconds. Number 3. There are different ways to confirm you're actually removing your weakened status. There is a sound cue you can listen for to make sure you're actually removing your weakened status. You'll also notice your bubble starts to disappear and your character's portrait in the HUD will also show the bubble disappearing. If you're staring at the unknown but you don't see the bubble disappearing, that means you're too far. Number 4. Auras of hallucinations are revealed to survivors when they're within 8 meters from them. Survivors can get rid of the hallucinations by dispelling them. This action, base kit, takes 4 seconds to complete and if a survivor is weakened while dispelling, the action takes them 25% longer. If the dispel action is started but not completed, the survivor performing the action becomes weakened and triggers Killer Instinct for 5 seconds, meaning the unknown will get a heartbeat and a visual notification pointing the location of that survivor. If you see hallucinations in strong tiles like shack or close to objectives, make sure to dispel them. However, if you're injured or already weakened, it may be worth waiting to dispel based on the information I'll share next. Number 5. The unknown can place hallucinations around tiles as a way to close down loops because it can quickly teleport to them while in a chase, and this may catch survivors by surprise. I'll share two things you can keep in mind to help you loop when there's hallucinations near or around tiles. A. Base kit, the unknown has a teleportation cooldown of 25 seconds, but has an add-on called Iridescent OSS Report that reduces the cooldown by 5 seconds. 
Either way, knowing that it has a decent cooldown is useful information during a chase because if it's teleported recently, you'll know you'll have at least a few seconds before it can teleport again. B. There is a directional sound cue that warns survivors the unknown has teleported. Pay attention to this and you may be able to react fast enough to avoid getting caught out of position. You can also mind game you're going towards the direction of the hallucination but quickly change direction away from it to force the unknown to teleport. Number 6. The blast area of the UVX can actually go through walls, floors, and ceilings. This makes it tricky to hold check spots around tiles since the unknown could send its UVX around those. Keep your check spots and listen for the sound the unknown makes when it's charging its power. If you hear this sound, move away from the check spot since it might send its projectile close to the check spot area and get you weakened or injured. Number 7. If you get a chance, gaining distance by leaving a tile and breaking line of sight will allow you to waste the unknown's time and continue the chase. If you're weakened and have an opportunity to gain distance, your best bet will be to stare at the unknown as much as you can to get rid of the weakened status. Camera positioning is key when playing against this killer and the good thing is developing this skill will be very useful against all the other killers and improve your looping. Number 8. A lot of unknowns get survivors weakened, then leave them or break line of sight to not allow survivors to remove their weakened status, by not letting them stare at it. If the unknown you're playing against does this, keep an eye around and see if you can stare at the unknown while they're in a chase with another survivor or are just walking around the map. This will help you avoid trying to get rid of your weakened status by staring at the unknown while you're in a chase later on. It'll just make things easier for you. Just remember you need to be at least 25 meters from the unknown for the stare mechanic to work. If you have more tips to counter the unknown, please share them in the comments below. If you'd like to be notified when I upload my next video, you can subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to watch more videos with tips and gameplay, you can click on the thumbnails on the left hand side of your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh my god. There's no way.